Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel Unlock Your Learning. In this video, we are going to solve NCERT Maths Class 6 Chapter 5 Understanding Elementary Shapes Exercise 5.2 Question Number 2. So friends, without wasting any time, let us begin. This is, where will the hand of a clock stop if it starts at 12 and makes 1 upon 2 of a revolution, comma, clockwise, right? So, Again, here what you have to see is that your hand of a clock is there and it is saying that it starts at 12. Okay, it starts at 12 and makes 1 upon 2 that is half a revolution, right? In this question, we are given with a fraction of the revolution, but in that we had to find with in the first question. Okay, now what will you do in this case? First of all, visualize a clock or you can make one. Right, so your hand is at 12 and it has taken half of a revolution. Okay, so it is saying at where will the hand of a clock stop? Now, first of all, what you need to do is this is the fractional revolution. We have to bring this down in the degrees or basically in the angle. Okay, so if you see 1 upon 2 is here. So, what is a complete revolution? Complete revolution is when you start from 12, you go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and you come back at 12. This is a complete revolution. And if you see that in angles, a complete revolution or measures what? 360 degrees, right? So, what we will do here is we will multiply this by 360. Okay, always do this. That will be what 1 180 right so this will be what your 180 degrees so this is 180 degrees right now basically it is still the same but it is a bit simpler now what that 180 degrees is now the angle which you have to make which you have to basically uh, revolve okay which your hand of the clock will revolve around. So, 180 degrees is always a straight angle like this, right? So, in this if you see, what we will do is, 180 degrees is here, so simply draw a straight line from this point only to the down, right? So, the number which we land at is 6. So, the answer will be that my clock hand will stop at 6, okay? If it makes half a revolution okay let us move on to the b part now we move on to the b part so this is starts at two and makes half a revolution clockwise half of a revolution clockwise right now again your clock hand is at two this is my clock hand at two it is going to make half a revolution now simply i told you multiply the fractional revolution given by 360 you will get the uh, the amount of degrees you need to go 360 degrees that will be your 180 degrees how this will be one this will be 180 right so you get 180 now that means 180 degree is a straight angle straight angle means simply you don't have to do anything just draw a straight line like this okay just a second so it might not be looking straight here give me a minute right here it is and like this so you can see it is landing at 8 it is landing at 8 so your answer will be that it will stop at 8 if it starts at 2 and makes half revolution now we will move on to the c part this is starts at 5 and makes one fourth of a revolution clockwise now your hand is at 5 this is your hand and it is at 5 okay it makes one fourth of a revolution clockwise. Again, told you just multiply your fractional revolution by 360. So, if you will see 1 and 90 here, right? This will be 90. 36 goes 9 times and this 0. So, that will be your answer 90 degrees. Now, 90 degrees is very simple. You just have to move 3 hours ahead from 5. So, you have 1 from 5 to 6, 1, 6 to 7, 2, 7 to 8, 3. 3 hours and this is your answer which is this. It is 8, right? So, our answer will be what? At 8, right? At 8, it will 
stop if it starts at 5 and makes one fourth of a revolution. Now, D part. This is starts at 5 and makes 3 fourth of a revolution clockwise. Now, your clock hand is at 5. Okay. So, let us make it. Here is my clock hand at 5. Okay. Then, it makes 3 fourth of a revolution. So, 3 fourth what will you do simply multiply 3 fourth by 360 which is the degree which is the to total degree of a complete revolution so that will give you 1 and this will be 90 and 93 that is 3 9 is 27 so 27 and this 0 here 270 degrees ok now how will we do this 270 degrees is not even I have told you. So, we cannot do this directly. We need to uh, break it down. Break it down. How? Break it down into two simpler numbers. Okay. So, 270 if you see it is made up of what? 180 if this is 1 and if you add 90 to 180 right. If you add 90 to 180 that will give you 270 right this will give you 270 so we know how to do this 180 degree and 90 degree as well 180 degree is a straight angle 90 degree simply move 3 hours from the uh, from that number so now can we do it yes first we can make it to 180 degree that is basically drawing a straight line then we make that to a 90 degrees now if you see here um, this is 5 right so you can do any one which you want to do first let us say i will do the 90 degree one first so from 5 to 6 1 7 uh, 6 to 7 2 7 to 8 3 so this will be at 8 now now 180 degree is left right out of 270 90 is done 180 degrees are left and 180 is a simply straight line draw a straight line from here if you assume this is at 8 so you will land at what 2 right 2 so that means your answer will be what at 2 your clock hand will stop at 2 if it starts at 5 and makes 3 fourth of a revolution and friends this is all for today if you are new to my youtube channel do not forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon down below so that you get notified whenever i upload a new video also leave a like on this video till then stay home stay safe wear a mask maintain social distancing and take good care of yourself bye bye